Hello, it's Clay. Today is Saturday morning, and we I just got up, decided to go yard selling, and I decided to ride down towards Florida. I'm about 30 minutes from the Georgia-Florida line, and if I don't see any yard sales or anything, I'll go to the flea market and see if there's anything down there. I used to go to these flea markets all the time down here in Florida, but I haven't been in quite a while. Let's go see what we can find, see if we see any yard sales. This here is the Florida Georgia line. There's the river, Florida. Somebody setting something up there. Thought they was gonna have a yard sale there. We just in the Florida a little ways here and I see a yard sale sign looks like. No, a state sale sign. That's an estate sale sign. Let's see what we got down here. Are y'all open? Are y'all open? Yeah, come on in, man. Eat breakfast. Eating breakfast. I don't want to interrupt breakfast. That's important. Mm. Is that a camera? Yes, sir. Yeah. What do you I, do that for? I video buying and selling stuff. Put All it right. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah walk around, man. So y'all had some stuff last weekend. Yeah. Day late and a dollar short. Sir. Day late and a dollar short. Yeah. How much is that? The big, I don't know. How about 30 bucks? I might get that. Let me see what else you yeah. got. The, uh, those things you went and bought them new, I'm sure they probably... Yeah, they'd be outrageous. A couple hundred bucks. But, but I might need me a lock cutter. That's a master lock cutter for sure there. Why didn't he get up, man? Yep, I wish I would have come last week. I wish you would have, man. This is what's left, you know what I mean? Yep. Still a lot of stuff left. Yeah. A lot more. Last week you would have come. Hey, look, it's me. Long screwdrivers, man. That is long. They had some kind of special need for it. How much you get for the anvil? Uh, here at the sale, $1,000. $1,000. It's official. I don't know if you're familiar with that. No, I'm not. Uh, I've got a couple I use at home. Yeah. Uh, that one's a pretty old one, and it's uh, the Fisher and the Peter Wrights bring big money. I, I own the shop, and if I move it to the shop, it's going to be 15 Where's your shop at? I own the pawn shop up in here. Oh, uh -huh. This is a close friend of mine that passed away, and we're helping the family. His wife is in a nursing home, and that's expensive. Hey, they said it's going to rain this afternoon. Yeah. Hey, he's got body camera. Watch what you say. No, I, I just I video what I buy and sell. Put it on YouTube. Oh, do you? The Georgia Bottle Picker. You can look it up. Oh, no kidding. I buy and sell antique bottles mostly. That's mostly what's on there. Oh, no kidding. I buy a bottle collection. I, I used to go out yard selling and, and state sales all the time, but I started buying them collections, and I don't really need no merchandise, so... Because I buy and sell on eBay is where I sell at. I don't have a shop. Have you seen it? I do stuff on eBay also. Have you seen a little bit of a slowdown? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It slowed way down. If I didn't have these rare bottles and stuff. That's all steam engine. Steam engine stuff. How about that? This whole case is full of steam engines. He had 42 steam engines. My goodness. You done sold all them? Yeah, they were shipped up north. What's up, he, lived, he was originally from Long Island. Long How much Island. is this box of stuff? Uh, I, I can't really put judgment on that. I don't really have that up right now or this. That's why it's not open. Uh, I'm probably going to end up shipping it to Pennsylvania. Uh, but, um, plus, you know, these guys that's involved in these steam engines, these parts are quite valuable. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, eBay slowed down. But, I, but I've been doing it for 13 years full time. Oh, okay, cool. Been doing it a long time. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like 70 or 80,000. That whole box right there is full of vintage lamp parts. And I tried to buy all that stuff. But he, this man, he, there were several things he wouldn't sell me. I wanted to buy that. He said he had a bunch of lamps that he was selling that he had missing parts. And I tried. They got a fan blowing out here is why it's so loud out here. But those are draw knives. I used to sell antique tools, vintage and primitives and antique tools when I first started selling on eBay. And if I was still into that kind of stuff, I would have bought a lot of this stuff or tried to buy it. I didn't ask him the prices on them. I, I was going to ask him, but I forgot. He weren't out there at this time. He was inside the house. And there was all kind of tools there. There was a whole set of those carving tools. I was going to ask him about this piece right here, too. I forgot that I even looked at that. That was a pretty cool little, some type of little blower, I guess. It had a name on it. I was going to ask him about it, and I forgot to ask him. What's this here? I will say that. That is a, um, it's a wine flask. A wine flask. fill that with wine, and, and the servant would go around and pour, and he'd scratch you back with that. If you oh, is that right? Yeah. That's what that's for? Yeah. That's pretty cool. My mom had one of these. Matchbox. It's a matchbox thing. Yeah, that's, nobody knew. We sold ours in the art cell, and we heard never, we put tea bags in it. Oh, and we didn't know what it was for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big box of matches that slide with it, the red yeah. tips, you know? That is so funny. That is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Cool typewriter. Yeah, buddy. Old toasters. Some old toasters, old lunch box. Yeah, about lunch boxes. Sir? Yeah, about 30 lunch boxes. Bunch of toasters. He collected them old toasters. He's, he's, this guy, he said he, all, he used to own a museum. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Dang. He plays a collector of many things. Some cool looking lunch boxes. How much would something like that be? I would do 10 bucks on that. Yeah. Alright. How much longer are you going to have the estate sale going? Well, and we're probably going to do it one more time. Um, and it's... Well, then we're going to have to get just move a lot of this stuff out of here and put it in storage for now. 
my my shop is full. What are these things? Those are sailors' picks, and that it's for digging into a knot and untying oh, a knot. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. I've never seen them, and I've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a wind meter. You hold it up to that fan right there, and that thing will take off. Not sure about that, but I think it's electric shock therapy. <laughs> so I guess you hold them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lights you up. Man. Are them whistles? Uh, they're steam whistles, yes. Steam whistles. I had. We had two big ones in here, sold them, and I had six more of those and sold those, but down to three. What's the best you could do on them? Um, what it is, actually, brother. Uh, I, I, and you could flip those and make money on them. If I bought all three of them? Yeah, 75. 75. Yeah. yeah. There's certain things in here that we, we got room on a few things, but yeah. stuff like that, we just, we know what they're going for. Yeah. What are they going for? 25? Up to 75. If According to the a, name on them? Especially the ones with, that are brass, if you throw them on a buffer and polish them up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that old record from like mm -hmm. I don't see you can take these off. You got to wait till your wife gets here. I was for all of it. I, I really hadn't needed a couple of even thinking about it. There's stuff out in the barn. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Full crap. Well, so. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know how much the little stove on the top shelf is? Uh, 35. 35? Yeah. I just need some help. I got you. Hey, I'm thinking we might call I like this Indian, 175 though. That's a tobacco store in Indian. This here's that little stove I was asking about. He wanted $35 for it. I didn't see a name on it. I was going to ask what that box of stuff right there, how much you take for the whole box? Let me see what's in it. Watch out. There's lamp parts. Oh, okay. Uh... I got a ton of his lamps. I'm gonna have to hang on to this uh, stuff. I didn't know it was here. I got a ton of his lamps in my shop, and uh, uh, I, I'm gonna have to hang on to it because we're missing parts. No. Uh, to, to a lot of his lamps. So I think that's what you got in your hand. I, I, I gotta hang on to this nope, stuff. I, I'm sorry. Hey, this old elephant. Did it move around or something? Uh huh. The elephant looks like it used to move. I, I don't know. The cabinet sold. The stuff in it? No. Uh, if you see something in it, uh, there's a motor in that elephant? It looks like he moves sure around, is. yeah. How about that? Pretty cool looking. Steam engines, but do not feel like hauling probably all of that. So, all right, let's see if you want to sell this stuff. What is that? Is that a trap of some type? Your guess would be as good as mine. Uh, is that some sort of burner? I think it's some kind of 
torch or lighter or yeah, burner? Yeah, he had all types of different Bunsen burners and burners. He had a lab at his zoo because he was he attended Cornell University for veterinary medicine. He took care of all his own animals. All right, how about how about ten for both of them? This is what I bought at the estate sale. This dynamite box or high explosive. Paid 15 for that. I'll look it up on eBay. I don't know if I'll sell it on eBay or Antique Mall. Get 30 or 35 for it probably. And everything in this box. This, let me pull out the stuff. This last little bit here that I got. He charged me 35 for this stuff here. And I've sold these in the past. Sold a lot of these in the past. These little stamps it does have a name on it. And this little carpenter's box here. I bought it because of the box, mainly because it had the name on it. And this has got a name on it. If I was still in the old tools. I'd have bought a lot of these old tools at this place. Just a little, some type of little vice. And this is a wick. Some kind of little thermometer. In the box, in the little case here. And this is some type of torch. Not a hundred percent, some type of alcohol torch, I guess. Yeah, on the bottom of this thing. This is a little Coleman stove. I think he charged me 10 for that. 1976. Coleman stove. I'll sell that for parts or repair. I'm not gonna test it. And I think this is some type of trap. I'm not 100% on that, what that is. Just unique. He charged me $10 for this and that, or it might have been 15 for 10 and that little thermometer down there. But that's all I bought there at that estate sale, was that little bit of stuff there. Their price was a little high. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Mm -hmm.